The first clip shows the feed arrangement to each ore sorter. Secondary crush size feed is fed at a controlled rate to the ore sorter via an automatically controlled feeder. The second clip shows the electronic images captured by the computer, the color of which highlights the differences in atomic density of the minerals present. The black colors show high atomic density minerals such as galena and tin. The blue colors show medium atomic density minerals such as sphalerite, sulfur salts and pyrite. The red and green colors show low atomic density minerals such as host rocks. The XRT machine can then be set up to separate at any preordained XRT detector setting based on these color images. The third clip shows the separation in slow motion. Each rock is individually blown into an eject bin if it exceeds the preordained relative quantity of atomic density minerals in each individual particle, whereas the bulk of the material simply flows off the conveyor belt into the drop bin if it is below this preordained relative quantity of atomic density mineral. The fourth and final clip shows how the products are removed from the ore sorter. The two products are removed by simply falling by gravity onto two separate conveyor belts. In the video clip here, the big bag nearest the machine is being fed with high-grade products that were blown or ejected, whereas the low-grade rocks fall directly onto a separate conveyor belt and are conveyed in the video clip here into a separate big bag. The first sample you see is the product rocks, which contain clear visible mineralized zones, whereas the second sample you see are the low grade rocks, which contain virtually no high atomic density mineral and can be sent to the mine waste dump or used for producing aggregates.